This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to install Mac updates via the terminal. Most of us are pretty familiar with updating macOS through System Preferences, now Settings on macOS Ventura or later. But what happens if you can't seem to get that to work? Is there another way to check Download and Install Updates? There is in fact. It comes through our friend, the terminal. Now there are a lot of options that can be found through here, especially with the releases of 10.15 Catalina and OS 12 Big Sur. I'm going to focus on finding, picking, and installing the updates you want, as well as how to download updates without installing them. Let's get a few standard things out of the way. First, you need to be careful when using the terminal, as you could end up messing up something if you don't type things in correctly. Second, you should always have a good backup of your machine in case something goes wrong. Now for the specifics of this tutorial, these are updates to macOS, not upgrades. The difference is that the update is a revision to the existing version of the system you're running. For example, going from 12.6 to 12.6.1, it's still Big Sur. Whereas an upgrade is going to a whole new version of your system. Examples being going from OS 12 to 13, Big Sur to Ventura. You can use the terminal to upgrade your Mac to a new version if you meet the requirements, but that's for another video. Lastly, you will need to be logged into an admin account to do this. If you are using these commands in a standard account, it won't work. With all that said, let's get started. Open up the terminal app and type in the following. I will have this and every other command I list in the description in case you need it. sudo space software update, all one word, space dash dash list. You can save yourself a few keystrokes, four to be precise, by replacing the dash dash list with dash L. So instead it reads sudo space software update, all one word, space dash L. Now hit enter and this will ping Apple's software update server and return a list of available updates to your machine with some details. Here we see there are two updates available, Safari 16.1 for macOS Monterey and the macOS Monterey version 12.6.1 update. The label lists the name of the file that is actually downloaded and run when you install the update. Below that is the title, which is a more human readable name, along with the update's version number, the size of the file in kilobytes, and whether the file is recommended. I don't think I've ever seen one in here that wasn't recommended though. There is also an additional one labeled action under the 12.6.1 update, which says restart. As one might expect, this means that the computer will need to restart in order to complete the update. Now that we've got the updates, how do we go about getting them onto our machine? If you're ready to install those updates now, then it's pretty easy. Type in sudo space software update, all one word, space dash dash install space dash dash all. Or take the shorter route and type in sudo space software update, all one word, space dash i, space dash a. This will instruct the Mac to download and install all the updates in the list. If you only want to install a particular update, then you'll need to type in the label for that update. If I only want to install the Safari update in this example, I type in sudo space software update, space dash i, space safari 16.1, Monterey Auto-16.1, all one word. If that seems a bit unwieldy, then you can replace that long label with the dash dash safari dash only command for the Safari updates, or the dash dash OS dash only for the Mac OS updates in place of the label. For updates that require a reboot, this command will not trigger that reboot though. To allow the machine to reboot automatically, add dash R or dash dash restart after the dash A and dash I. But let's say you want to get the updates prepped but not installed just yet, which is really useful for updates where a reboot may be necessary. To only download an update, type in sudo space software update, all one word, space dash dash download, space followed by the label of the update. If you want to customize the downloading of updates, you can use the same arguments as we did in the install section, such as downloading all updates by using sudo space software update space dash d space dash a, or one of the previous OS only or Safari only commands. Downloaded updates will be stored in the library slash updates folder 
but you shouldn't expect to be able to double click the installers and run them from here. Instead, these will be installed either through the dash install command, through the terminal, or from the software update app. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.